Hello, I'm Terry McCann here to tell you about some bad reasons for seeking ISO certification for your organization and of course some good ones. If the marketing and salespeople in your organization are the driving force for seeking ISO 9001 certification, my advice is don't do it. Especially don't do it if you are seeking certification in order to get one particular customer. The reason why marketing and sales want an organization to become certified to the ISO 9001 international standard is usually for reasons such as certification is a prerequisite for submitting a request for quotation, an RFQ or being told that ISO certified companies will receive preference in the selection process for a vendor. Or the salespeople have been asked on telephone calls if their organization has ISO or other certification. Or the organization has had many audits by potential customers who mentioned that such an audit would not have been necessary if the organization had been certified to ISO 9001 2015. Okay, let me qualify the title of this presentation. These are only bad reasons if they are the only reasons, the primary reasons, or the driving reasons. Why do I say that? I will tell you some more reasons later on, but for now I can tell you that having these bad reasons as the main reasons strongly suggests that there is a lack of education and buy-in from other parts of the organization, like the purchasing department, design and development, manufacturing, shipping, after-sales customer support. If managers and opinion influences in these departments are not or were not part of the education and consultation process before deciding to become certified, or have not committed to the certification project, then the principle will apply culture eats strategy for breakfast. The prevailing culture is always to maintain the status quo. Don't rock the boat. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Don't worry, it will pass. In other words, passive resistance. Even if the organization manages to push through and pass the final certification audit and receive the certificate to put on the wall and company website, that certificate on the wall will in all likelihood not be worth the paper it is printed on. The website claim to ISO 9001 certification will be another road sign to customer disappointment and employee frustration for the simple reason that the organization has not understood the difference between the letter and the spirit of the ISO 9001-2015 international standard. Here's the thing. In order to be certified conformant with ISO 9001-2015, an organization has to have a quality management system, a QMS. It is the QMS that has to conform to the requirements of the standard. But the purpose of having a QMS is not to obtain ISO certification, but to help the business or organization to satisfy its customers with product and services of consistent and predictable quality and reliability, hence the name, Quality Management System. That, by the way, is the foremost good reason for seeking certification to ISO 9001-2015. An effective QMS that is certified conformant with ISO 9001-2015 enables an organization to improve its overall performance and it provides a sound basis for sustainable development initiatives. So what about the motivations put forward by sales and marketing? They flow as a byproduct, not as ends in themselves much as molasses is a byproduct in the production of sugar. As Ray Kroc of McDonald's said, look after the customer and the business will take care of itself. You will pursue the spirit 
of the ISO 9001-2015 standard ahead of the letter if you keep a customer and employee focus in your rollout of your QMS. I was fortunate to have to work with an engineering manager who frustrated me no end by asking me what is the value add of this or that new process or document or quality initiative that I would come to him with. Over time I learned to appreciate his challenges to me. He forced me to make my quality initiatives as minimally bureaucratic as possible while ensuring that there was indeed value added for the company. He would ask, who are we doing this for? Are we doing this for the business or for the auditors? Frustrating at the time, but he inadvertently helped me get past the letter to the spirit of the particular requirement in the standard. Interestingly, if you meet the spirit of the requirement as your priority, it becomes easier to find ways through cooperation to meet the letter of the requirement that are practical and feasible. So then, as you write your quality manual and procedures to implement the shell clauses of the ISO 9001-2015 standard, ask yourselves as a team, how can we implement this in such a way as to achieve organizational excellence through continually improving performance. Remember, your QMS as documented in your quality manual and processes is there primarily for the members of the organization, not the auditors. It should be easy to use as a training document. If it is not, then who is it written for? In short, the best good reason for seeking ISO 9001-2015 certification is to become an organization of excellence where all employees understand the importance of what they do and have encouragement and opportunity to take pride in their work. If you found this presentation helpful, consider sharing it with colleagues. I'm Terry McCann.